Hey there YouTubers, so I'm back again with more pain management information because I totally forgot the last time to mention that uh, food, uh, what you consume, can absolutely either help you alleviate or get rid of pain or lessen pain or it can increase the amount of pain you have. So generally, um, I'm not going to mention specific foods, but I know uh, there's uh, a lot of documentation on the fact that nightshades like, well, I guess I will mention a couple specific foods, but you'll have to do more research on your own uh, after, after watching this, but um, nightshades, things like tomatoes, eggplant, um, potatoes, stuff like that can increase, uh, cause increased, increased <laughs> inflammation. Um, so if you've got joint pain, stuff like that, probably going to want to avoid those as much as possible. Um, sugar is another one. Sugar can cause pain. Uh, and although sugar is, you know, yummy candy and cake and all that good stuff, uh, soda even. I don't, I haven't had soda in, um, I stopped drinking soda when I was 20, about 19, 20 years old. And it's, um, I'm 40 now, so about 20, 21 years I haven't had soda. But that's uh, a huge, I mean, obviously there's a huge amount of sugar in soda. Um, but there's also sugar in other things like fr uh, fruit drinks and lots of um, prepackaged iced teas, stuff like that. S and sugar can absolutely add to your pain. If you've got chronic pain, it's going to more than likely make that chronic pain even worse. Um, however, there are foods that you can eat that that can reduce pain, that can reduce inflammation. Um, many different types of vegetables, leafy greens, broccoli, stuff like that are, are great for reducing pain and inflammation. Um, certain beans, nuts, stuff like that. Uh, fish is a lot of various types of fish um, are great for that. Um, but there's 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 so many other things you really have to do a lot of research on your own because there might be some very specific foods that cause specific type of pain uh, or that alleviate specific type of pain so there's not it's not like really that you can i mean you can eat like a variety of foods that will help pain in general but you want to try to home in on the specific pain that you're having and see what would help that um but um I absolutely do recommend looking into that if you are a chronic pain sufferer or if you want to avoid chronic pain in the future because you could absolutely prevent it from happening at all. Um, and I know I, I know everybody's not into, not uh, everybody's not into sports or not everybody is into sports, however you want to say it, but um, I'm not a huge Tom Brady fan, but he did... Uh, there was an interview I read of his a year or two ago, and, you know, he's like, what, 44, 45? When you get this video, he'll probably be retired again. <laughs> we'll see if it's for real um, the next time. But he, he said that he, he really watches what he eats. And in a profession like professional, um, in a profession like professional football, <laughs> um, Anyway, uh, in his profession, avoiding pain and decreasing inflammation is hugely benefit is hugely beneficial, because um, obviously you know you're a quarterback or running back or whatever position you're playing, you're getting hit multiple times, many 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 times during games, and um, so keeping pain at a minimum is extremely important to having a decent career. The average NFL career is something like two and a half years, and he's been playing for more than 20. Uh, so clearly, I mean, obviously he's been on good teams, and, you know, the rules have changed since, like, guys like Terry Bradshaw and Joe Montana were playing, but clearly he's doing something right in terms of um, his preparation for playing. Um, so anyway, watch what you eat. You can eat things that will cause you more pain. You can eat things that will help alleviate your pain. Keep an eye on that. Um, and I know it's tough to exercise when you have pain, but exercise can actually help decrease pain. So think about that too. Anyway, thanks again for watching. 
Don't forget to subscribe. See you again next time. I got that out of order. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Check me out on Patreon. And stay safe out there. Oi.